Okay, you've got your two you got sides, your, your back piece, your front, two sides, and your rear. Hello. So today, for the seventh day, we're going to build another nativity set in honor of the Holy Family Feast. So, um, most of you won't be watching this till next year, probably, and uh, when you're searching around. And this will be a perfect uh, outdoor nativity. Uh, it's kind of like that profile that you see, you know, from the front and the pictures. It's just the two frames and sides, basically. But a um, friend of mine at work, Lee, he gave me this idea, so I'm putting it together uh, for ours. And like a lot of people, they probably have that lighted little three-piece set, sometimes with the camel or the wise men even, but that plastic with the blue Mary and the pink Joseph. And um, this is like the perfect size for that set. We used to have one, but ours is 26 years old, and last year it started uh, cracking and everything, so we're gonna have to get a new set. So hopefully I'll have that whole thing um, in time for next year. Of course, I gotta find it online and stuff because I don't even see them in Walmart or anything anymore. So, But this will be the perfect size for that. And I just made a couple of little modifications. Uh, we're gonna pre-drill some holes and use some blocks um, to kind of put it together so that at the end of the season you can just remove your screws, put them in a little baggie or a bucket, and then stack everything up in your rafters or in the attic or somewhere like that. So stay tuned and we'll get that going. So I do have this in SketchUp. Um, I will put all of these out on the website once I get done with, um, with everything and get the plans drawn up, but it'll probably give me a week or two uh, to get that done. Uh, so right now I've just got the pictures and that's, that's pretty much all you need. This is a very simple project. Um, we're gonna cut uh, the bottoms. I'm gonna cut the dog ears off on some of these. I'm gonna leave them on the front. So I just got uh, five pickets, I think is what it was. Um, I'll count them up in a little bit, but it'll be on here as well. So just five pickets, we're gonna cut them to length and then we're gonna drill our holes and just cut you a bunch of scrap. Actually these two pieces here will be the cutoffs of some of the dog ears. So you can just use those for that. Uh, these will, these on the bottom, you're gonna need to use a two before just to give you some, uh, so you can come in from the side and the front. So you're gonna need you one, two, three, four, five uh, scrap pieces of two before, and then two of the dog ear cutoffs. And this one should be a 22.5 uh, degree angle so that they'll butt together properly. So I need two at 35 for the sides. One at 70 for the back. And for these two side pieces um, right here, um, you can just cut those at 36, leave the dog ears, because they'll be hidden behind the roof portions. So don't have to worry about that for the that one, and you just cut it in half. Touch more than 72, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this piece off. And for your two roof gables, or whatever those are called, um, should be right at 54. Um, for the long side, so for the tip. So I'm just gonna measure up here to 54, right there, and cut me my 22 and a half um, angle right there. Um, doesn't really matter, because you're not gonna, it's just gonna stick out ever how far. So as long as you get your angles and butt it up correctly, you can readjust on the sides here. So this is gonna be where my angle starts. Okay, you've got your two sides, your back piece, your front, two sides, and your roof. And then you'll need you two five inch pieces of your scraps from one of the ends. And you'll need four five inch two by four pieces and one four and a half inch two by four pieces. And those will be the blocks to help assembly. Um, I'm just gonna put them behind and whatever, but you'll just need, you can use scraps or whatever you have. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. Ok, 
Okay, once you get all your holes drilled, then just lay everything out to make it easy to assemble. You're going to want these kind of screws with the pan head on them so that you can, um, you don't have to use a washer and the, the you know, cone shaped ones would just uh, go right into the wood and would defeat the purpose of using the blocks behind it. And you could also, if you wanted to, just screw it together. You don't have to use blocks. It would come apart pretty easily. It's just, you know, plus it's five pickets, so you could make a new one each year. If you go ahead and assemble the centerpiece to its brace and then have somebody hold it and clamp it before you try to drill the outside three holes, um, it'll just make it easier because then you can get them all lined up and just use your blocks in the back and go through. Okay, so you're going to get a helper and mark you a 11 and a half inch from one end of the dog ear and then just line that up with the outside edge and make the top flush with the top of the side piece over here. Then you clamp it and now you can drill your holes for your blocks. Put your screws in or just almost all the way through and then you can take the clamp off and it won't fall. And put your plate in the back. Pinch everything together. Just do the same thing to the other side, then you're finished. Okay, there it is. All finished and ready to go. Just needs the uh, nativity inside it, and then some wise men off to the side here for the next few days. Be sure to check back tomorrow. Leave comments, uh, maybe go out to that community tab and start a conversation on your nativity set, how you build yours. I know there's all kinds of uh, options for these things, uh, but I like this idea out of um, just five pickets and a few pieces of two before. Pretty easy to put together, um, and especially now that it's made, you'll be able to take it down and put it back up real easy. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.